Hello everyone, I'm Coy Wire. This is CNN 10. Welcome to a brand new week of awesome. It's Monday, March 27th, or 32723. It's like the number version of a palindrome, you know, a word or phrase that spelled the same forwards and backwards, like mom or radar, or was it a car or a cat I saw? Anyways, let's keep it moving forward and onward and upward and get you your stories for the day. Now we start with some sad news out of Mississippi where a devastating EF4 tornado has brought heartache and loss. EF4s are considered violent and extremely rare, making up only about 1% of all tornadoes. More than 20 million people in the South and parts of the Midwest were under severe storm threats as of Sunday, and at least 10 tornadoes were confirmed to have hit Mississippi, Alabama, and Tennessee over the weekend. 26 people across the southeast were killed, dozens more injured from these powerful storms. We're going to go now to Rolling Fork, Mississippi, a town of fewer than 2,000 people where residents saw absolute destruction of their homes and businesses. The mayor said that the city is just gone. The town was hit by winds of speeds of up to 170 miles per hour. Drone footage shows homes completely leveled and unrecognizable. Vehicles were tossed around like they were nothing. Trees snapped and splintered. Search and rescue efforts took place over the weekend, but those who were found and needed help had to be transported 50 miles away to a hospital because the one nearby wasn't available. President Biden approved a disaster declaration for counties in Mississippi early Sunday morning, ordering federal aid to help recovery efforts in the areas affected by the severe storms. We'll hear now from CNN's Isabel Morales with more from Rolling Fork. Please know if you or anyone you know are affected by these tragic storms, our hearts and minds are with you. Powerful storms and at least one tornado pummeled the southeast on Friday night, nearly leveling some neighborhoods and knocking out power for thousands, officials said. The confirmed tornado touched down in Mississippi, where the damage and death toll have been most severe. Search and rescue efforts for storm victims began after the tornado struck the towns of Silver City and Rolling Fork. The state of my town, devastation. As I look around, uh, families are affected, homes are torn up, families are without a place to live, children are hungry, no clothes, we're devastated. The city of Rolling Fork is in Sharkey County, the origin of many of the storm fatalities. Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves issued a state of emergency in all counties affected by the severe storms, according to a release. State agencies led the search for victims, and FEMA has arrived to help with the recovery. Right now, we still are in a life-saving, life-sustaining mode, and we want to make sure that the state has everything that they need um, as we work to make sure that no additional lives are lost. I think as you are watching the images and I'm watching these images, it's just heartbreaking to see the devastation that this community um, has sustained. The tornado that flattened much of the community of Rolling Fork was rated at a strength of EF4, according to a member of the National Weather Service team surveying the damage. Even though we lost everything, this stuff can be replaced Material things can be replaced, but to lose a loved one, it was just heart wrenching. 10 second trivia. Which planet most closely resembles Earth in mass and size? Mars, Venus, Neptune, or Saturn? Scientists say Venus is most similar in size, though its atmosphere is said to be a poisonous inferno. This Tuesday, we're going to be able to look up into the nighttime sky and see a rare phenomenon, a parade of planets, and one of them is Venus. Now, it's more common to be able to see two or three planets in what's called a planetary parade or planetary alignment, but this time, experts say we're going to be able to see five planets at the same time, all lined up beneath the moon in the same part of the sky, like pearls on a necklace, they say. They also say that the sky has to be clear and that our best chance to see this planetary parade will be by looking towards the horizon in the west just after sunset. Are you going to be watching? If so, snap a pic and tag me at Koi Wire. Have you ever had anything delivered to your home via drone? 
The idea of having hovering crafts dropping packages at our doorsteps has been around for years, but it's not anywhere near mainstream yet because of regulations from the Federal Aviation Agency, or FAA, and because of neighborhood safety and privacy concerns. Those are just some of the factors that have hampered companies' abilities to deliver any sort of product or food from above. But the race for drone deliveries is heating up, and a fully autonomous home delivery future is closer than ever. The startup Zipline is giving us a closer look at what that future might look like. What we've heard again and again and again is that customers really also want a way of delivering directly to homes. And so over the last three and a half years, Zipline has been designing all the technology but behind the scenes to enable instant autonomous home delivery. expensive, there's zero emission, and it's just a better delivery experience to boot. It's more reliable, it can operate with higher service level guarantees, uh, and it can serve more homes. Ultimately, you know, we, we, we do think it's, it's quite inevitable that you're going to see this transition toward these more efficient, faster, and zero emission ways of delivering. Do you hate getting up early in the morning? Well, so does Doris. Now, Doris is a dairy cow from England who's gone viral for being so relatable to so many snooze lovers around the world. She'll even pretend to be sleeping while all the other cows get up to go off and to the milking machines. We see you, Doris. Milk it for all it's worth, baby. Jeannie Moose has more. Do you hate getting up in the morning? So does Doris. All the cows at Reed's Farm on the Isle of Wight in England got up and left for milking. Except for Doris. Doris is actually pretending to be asleep. And for faking sleep, Doris has gone viral. People relate. I am Doris was a typical comment. Oh, Doris. Doris has got a fantastic personality. She is definitely more person than cow. She's one of John Brody's favorites. You're a mischief maker. You leave my coffee alone, please. When Doris pretended to be asleep, John called her out. Doris, come on. I see your ears moving. Come on, I can see your eye. Yeah. How'd he know she was faking? Around 30 seconds beforehand, she had her head up and was looking straight at me. She put her head back down, thinking that she was going to get away with it, just to push her luck be cheeky. Now Doris has fans online. I think I've found my spirit animal. Leave Doris alone. But Doris doesn't leave John alone. And why was she licking the back of your head? Um, grooming. She's grooming me. It means... As far as I'm concerned, she's a, she accepts me as a member of the herd. She grooms him, he grooms her. Is this all over your face? I am utterly in love with Doris, and we're all utterly in love with you. Thanks to everyone who reached out to say hello this weekend, and thanks to everyone who subscribed and commented on our CNN 10 YouTube channel, like the lovely folks getting a special shout out today. Cauley Middle School in Hooksit, New Hampshire, rise up. Chase those goals today, everyone. Work hard, study harder, and remember, the only thing holding you back is you. I'm Coy Wire, and we are CNN 10.